The giant of Kandhar, a 13-foot tall monster with red hair and six-fingered hands that lived in the mountains of Afghanistan, was killed and covered up by the US government. In a YouTube video, a witness claimed that he saw the horrifying incident, but the video was later deleted from YouTube. If you are curious to know more, then press that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. The 1980s was a period when the world was gripped by fear of nuclear war. The outbreak of the Iran-Iraq war and the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan all added to the sense that Armageddon could be just around the corner. At this time, there was a strange giant who was said to have lived in a remote region of Kandhar. Stephen Cole told this story on the popular American paranormal radio station Coast to Coast in 2002. For over 30 years, he has been investigating ancient civilizations, giants, UFOs and biological warfare. Many other researchers claimed that the creature was a Nephilim. Nephilim are a group of people mentioned in the Genesis and number books of the Old Testament who were said to be people of unusually large size and strength that could be found in the Middle East both before and after the Great Flood. But from centuries, no one have seen any such giant beings and they just have become a part of mythology. But according to Stephen, US government had found them in the deserts of Afghanistan. So it all started when one day a detachment of American soldiers did not return from a mission during the US military operation in Afghanistan. They attempted to contact them via radio, but no one responded. In response, a special operations task force was sent into the desert with the task of finding and recovering the missing unit. It was assumed that the detachment could fall into a siege and the soldiers were killed or captured by the enemy. Arriving in the area where the missing detachment had left, the soldiers began to inspect the area and soon came across the entrance to a large cave. Some things were lying at the entrance to the cave, which upon closer inspection, turned out to be the weapons and equipment of the missing detachment. The group was cautiously looking around the entrance to the cave, when suddenly a gigantic person jumped out taller than two ordinary people stacked on top of each other. It was definitely a man with a tousled, shaggy red beard and red hair. He screamed in rage and rushed at the soldiers with his fists. The same retreated and began to shoot the giant with their 50 BMG Barrett rifles. Even with such massive firepower, it took the entire squad a full 30 seconds of continuous shelling of the giant to finally knock him to the ground. After the giant was killed, the SWAT team searched the inside of the cave and found the bodies of the men from the missing squad, not to the bone, as well as older human bones. The soldiers came to the conclusion that this man-eating giant had been living in this cave for a long time, devouring people passing by. As for the giant's body, it weighed at least 500 kg and was then airlifted to the local military base and then sent to a larger aircraft and no one else saw or heard from him. When the SWAT soldiers returned to the States, they were forced to sign non-disclosure agreements and the entire incident was listed as classified. The US government classified the entire incident and kept it hidden from the public. Obviously, no one have any hard evidence to prove these claims, except the eyewitnesses who claim to have seen these giants. Let me know in the comments that what's your thought on these. If you like the video, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.